Hey, what's going on everyone? Don here and you're watching VR Gamer Dude. And today I am super, super excited guys. So we are adding a new headset to the collection and that is the Quest Pro. That's right, I can't thank Meta enough for sending me one of these, guys. I love you, you rock. So today we're gonna do a quick unboxing and I'm gonna give you my first impressions. So let's go. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look in the box. But before we do, I do want to quickly comment on the packaging. So you guys have seen it. You know, I'm kind of late to the game on this uh, little mini review or unboxing or first impressions, whatever we want to call it. But it definitely screams retail to me. It doesn't scream something that you would be buying for business, just looking at the packaging. And considering that they are being sold at Best Buy stores, it really kind of blurs that line between is it a business class headset or is it really an enthusiast gaming headset? Now, obviously Meta says that it's a business class headset, but everyone I know is just raving about how good this thing is for games. So, you know, looking at the packaging in the back, you, you definitely, you see the controllers, you see the headset, you don't see the, the, the typical row of games that it supports, you know? So like what you'd see on the Quest 2 box, but, other than that, I can tell you it is beautiful packaging. As an ex-retailer, I would have been proud to have displayed this on any shelf in my store. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and get into the box. All right, so let's go ahead and remove the outer sleeve here. Now that we got the sleeve off, let's get to the main event and see what's in the box. So here we go. Oh, there we go. I love it when you get that little vacuum seal pop on new tech. It's just, I don't know. It's just, and then it like releases that smell. It's almost like that new car smell. So, all right, let's take a look. So there we go. There we have the controllers and the headset. And uh, I, I have been chomping at the bit to get one of these in my hands for weeks. So again, Meta, thank you. I cannot thank you guys enough for sending this out. All right. So first and foremost, let's take a look at these controllers. Uh, I, yeah, I have heard way good things from my colleagues uh, that these are the best controllers out there right now. And you know, I've only had them in my hands for about two seconds and I can already tell you these feel premium. I mean, the weight, the balance, the, the button placements are all nice. Uh, sticks are tight, you know, oh man, those triggers feel good. Uh, really cool, obviously you guys probably already know this, but they've got the cameras now on them, so no more rings to bump against each other, no more occlusion if you go behind the back. So Meta, you guys have knocked it out of the park with the design of these controllers. So I can't wait to play with them and see the functionality. However, before we do that, we gotta get through a few more things in the box. So, all right, on to the headset. So there she is. Oh man, I've been waiting to see this headset. I, I avoided spoilers. I didn't go to Best Buy. I didn't do any demos. I haven't watched any of my friends' videos. I wanted to see it firsthand for myself and I'm glad I waited because wow, this looks great and it feels great. It feels completely premium, guys. I, I tell you, it does not feel cheap and plasticky. And you know, one thing that's kind of blowing me away, even though on paper it says that it's, it's heavier than the Quest 2, it doesn't feel it. It, it, it. The balance is kind of nice. Now, obviously they have moved all the battery to the back. So, you know, it, it definitely is not as front heavy as the Quest 2 was. Um, however, you know, on my Quest 2, I am using the M3 head strap with the big battery placement on the back. So yeah, I guess that could, you know, be kind of tricking my mind to think this is a little lighter, but I gotta tell you, weight and balance is fantastic. Now, this already fell off as as I was picking it up, but there is the star of the show in my opinion, and that is the new pancake lenses. So if you've been watching my channel for a lot of years, you're gonna remember I was one of the biggest complainers when 
the CV-1 came out and they switched from the aspheric to the, to the Fresnel lenses. I hate Fresnel lenses of any kind. I don't like anything that causes God rays or, or light flares or whatever the hell you want to call them. So from what I'm hearing, these pancake lenses are fantastic and almost back to the clarity of the old DK lenses. So I cannot wait to test that aspect of the headset. Um, obviously we've got a full IPD slider now, so no no more of these little three clicks uh, that we had in the Quest 2. Never really could get my IPD dialed in perfectly on that headset. So really looking forward to testing that out as well. Uh, padding feels really nice and premium. Um, obviously it is kind of a uh, kind of a silicon feel. So uh, sweat going to be able to wipe that right off. Um, so yeah, I mean, very, very cool there. So let's see what else is in the box. So, all right, let's see here. Got another little box here. And in this box, looks like it's just our instruction book, some, uh, some cabling and the, uh, the wall plug. And I think last but not least is, and I think that is actually under here. Yeah, there we go. And there is the charging cradle. So we've got the full charging cradle here, no longer having to actually plug the headset in, even though it does have a USB-C jack, so you can plug it into the side. Uh, you can just set the headset right here onto the cradle. It makes connection with the magnetic points and it will charge the headset and the controllers. So very, very cool design there. And last but not least, the side blockers. So these are the little uh, rubber light blockers that come with the headset. Um, those basically uh, will block out some of the side light, but it's going to leave the complete underneath of the headset open. So obviously for that, you're going to want the full light blocker. Um, I do have that. Um, I'll show it to you guys uh, in another video. It, it, it's, I got to dig it out of another box. Uh, but uh, Meta was nice enough to send us the mini charging dock, the headphones, and the full light blocker as well. So, all right, I guess all that's left to do is to get this baby charged up, test it, and give you guys my first impressions. All right, here we are. We are in the Quest Pro. and. Man, I gotta tell you, this looks great. I, I mean, the, the image is just nice and clear in here. I, you know, obviously that has something to do with these new pancake lenses because on paper, the Quest Pro and the Quest 2 have pretty much the same resolution. So, but I can tell you what I am seeing right now is a much clearer image. The colors are more deep. Uh, man, everything is just popping in here. So very cool. Awesome job Meta on these new lenses. I, I am not seeing any sort of smudging or artifacting. So no more Fresnel rings, no, no more God rays, no more little tiny light flashes when things are too much of a contrasting. Um, so, ah, man, I tell you what, I, this is what I've been waiting for for years, is for somebody to get away from those traditional Fresnel lenses. So, all right, let's take a look at a few other things about the headset here. So, you know, first and foremost, um, a lot of people have been talking about the pass-through mode, okay? So we'll go ahead and check out the pass-through mode here real quick. And you guys can kind of see my dirty studio back here. And, you know, I'm not going to lie. It's not the best, okay? I mean, it is a little grainy. It is a little blurry. But the colors look accurate. I mean, I, I you know, I mean, maybe a little even deeper. I mean, the green here on the walls looks a little deeper than, well, no, actually, no. Looking through the bottom and looking through here, it actually looks perfect. So uh, I can kind of read that monitor up there. I mean, you know, it's, it's not the best. But here's the thing. Just like when Quest 2 came out, it is going to get better with firmware and software updates. I know that for a fact. So, you know, it's just a waiting game. I mean, if you remember when the Quest 2 came out, the pass-through was pretty much unusable. And by the time that the Pro came out, I was very, very able to use the pass-through in my Quest 2. Uh, so, you know, I have no doubt that Meta will get this fixed. Uh, you know, now, in comparison, I don't have a Pico, uh, you know, to compare it to. A lot of people have been trying to compare it to that pass-through. The videos that I have seen, sure, their pass-through,
through looks pretty much like what I'm seeing, um, but it's not stereo correct. And this pass through is stereo correct. So that means that I can literally reach out and when I'm gonna grab something in the real world, it is gonna be exactly where I am seeing it through the cameras. Now, how are they doing all this? Well, they've got the one color camera right here in the center, and then they've got the two black and white cameras that are providing the depth, and then they're overlaying the color camera on top of that. Now, that does cause some issues. Like you can see, if I get really close here, it, it's almost like everything goes like really blurry, and you can kind of see the black and white and the color mixing together. So, you know, that is, once again, something I am really hoping that Meta is going to fix in a, an upcoming firmware or software update so only time will tell but I can tell you for the you know mixed reality stuff here it's it's not gonna matter because something about having the little blur and the grain in the background really makes what's being presented against it pop nicely so uh, I don't know let's let's go ahead and check something out here I'm not gonna play a full game by any means but uh, uh, let's see we'll go into a sandbox like figment here Okay, and no, I'm not going to play the tutorial and don't want to map the room. So once again, just going to um, yeah, load up a little sample scene here. Um, let's see here. Let's play around with the earth here. Move that out of our way. Got the moon flying around here. So at the moon. Ha ha. Here we go. Spin the earth, grab it, aha! I mean, that is so cool how you can literally play with this stuff. I mean, I could sit in Figment for hours just playing with 3D models, and, and I will actually cover this in its own video. Uh, but for now, let's see here, let's load up another little sample scene. Um, yeah, the mini golf. Let's see here. I'm go mini golfing in my studio here with Figman. And there you go. So move that out of the way. And you can see I've got a full little mini golf course here. I've got the fire breathing dragon back there. So very, very cool that we now have the ability to play mixed reality games or augmented reality. I mean, I know Meta's calling it mixed reality. There we go. I got it through. Uh, so, Meta's calling it mixed reality. I mean, yeah, to me, this is just kind of AR. Um, oh, get up that hill. Get up that hill. Ah. Oh, there we go. Boom. Got it. And cue the fireworks. So, all right. That's, you know, what I wanted to see here. I, I really wanted to see how the pass-through was going to work and how it was going to look. This is my first time doing it, guys. So, you guys are seeing it with me. Uh, as I see it for the first time and I got to tell you it is blowing my mind So now we have a fully functioning VR device and a fully functioning mixed reality device So I, I cannot wait to play more things. I know Demio has a, a mixed reality mode now There are several other apps that have mixed reality mode the new I expect you to die uh, you know, home sweet home. Uh, I, I definitely want to check that out. I've always loved the I expect you to die stuff. And uh, I will cover all those in their own little videos here because once again, like I said earlier, even though this is a business headset, well, what I'm going to be doing with it is gaming. So, um, and with that, um, let's see here. Uh, let's see if there's anything else that we want to check out here before we end the review or I'm sorry, the uh, first impressions. All right, let's see here. Let's go ahead and turn on the face and the eye tracking. There we go. And let's find an app where we can actually see that in action. Hey, there we are. All right, cool. So now we're getting a look at the uh, face and eye tracking. And I gotta say, that's really cool. It, it is totally mapping my mouth. So, <laughs> And yeah, there we go. And my eyes, oh man. Okay, so 
I really can see now how this is going to enhance any of the social apps. Now, currently, there's not a lot available. I, Horizon Worlds, uh, I think uh, the World uh, app uh, also does it. Uh, but uh, currently, it's only the meta avatars. Uh, now, I am really hoping to see a lot more get uh, added over time uh, because, man, I'm telling you what, this is pretty freaking cool. So, all right, there we have it, guys. Uh, you know, we've looked at the, the headset, talked about the resolution, talked about the new lenses. Uh, I guess the only thing I really haven't talked about is the audio, and, and I will say the audio sounds much better than the Quest 2 as well. Uh, we've looked at the facial tracking, the eye tracking, so all of the new bells and whistles here in the, uh, the, the Quest Pro. So I think with this, we're probably gonna go ahead and end this little mini review. Um, but I gotta tell you guys, I am in love with this headset already. I mean, it's day one. Uh, this is literally the first night I've had it, and uh, I haven't really gotten a chance to put it through its paces, so once again, probably going to come back in about two or three weeks with a full review of the headset um, you know definitely want to give it some time i want to start looking at uh you know i want to start looking at like different aspects of it before i start really telling you guys my true thoughts on it but initial first impressions really good i mean really really good so meta you guys have knocked it out of the park so is this headset for you I don't know. You're going to have to figure that out for yourself. Uh, it is not cheap, and uh, it is definitely being billed as a business class headset, but um, everything that I see is screaming enthusiast gaming headset. So I am going to leave a link for it in the description of the video if you want to learn more about this headset than what I was able to tell you. Um, you know, head to that link. Or if you want to buy one, you know, definitely if you've got the disposable income. Uh, I, I'm not going to say I recommend it. I'm not going to say I don't recommend it because, once again, I haven't spent enough time with the headset. But just based on my first impressions, I'm loving it. So, all right, guys, that's going to do it. Thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. If you did, you know that means the world to me. And, uh, you know, if this was your first time coming by, I say it every time at the end of the video. If you don't mind, on the way out the door, do me three solids smash that like, hit subscribe, and ring the bell so you get notified the next time I do something cool in virtual reality. And if you've already done all that, guys, thank you so much. We are now 250 subscribers away from 10,000, and it would mean the world to me. I mean, my heart would explode with joy if, if we could hit 10,000 by the end of the year. It has been my ultimate goal for so long, and uh, you guys are all helping me grow this channel, so I can't thank you enough. But for me, that's going to do it today, guys. I will see you in the next one. This is Don, signing off.